Today we're comparing Callaway hybrids from the past two years, the new Rogue ST models in 2022, and the Apex and Super Hybrid models from 2021. Danny's with me to hit some shots, and Trackman will tell us what's different. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka, and we're talking about hybrids today, testing out some new ones for 2022, the Rogue ST, and then we're also comparing them to 2021 models, Apex and the Epic Super Hybrid. So, Danny, you've been fitting customers into the Apex and Super Hybrid models uh, over the last year. 2022 now, you've got a quick, you know, brief first look at the Rogue ST models here. Yeah. What do you see and what do you think we'll, uh, you know, we'll see in the test today? Sure. So, I mean, the, the Super Hybrid has been fantastic. It's more forgiving, a bigger head. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of higher launch, low spin tendencies. Yeah. Exactly what a hybrid should do. Um, the interesting thing is, from a shaft perspective, yeah. there's different options. They're not fully graphite, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. steel fiber, for example. Right. 59 miles of fiber in one shaft. <laughs> 59 miles, that's incredible, yeah. just in one shaft. And then on the flip side, when we have the Apex, um, Apex Pro, we have the MMT, mm -hmm. the metal mesh technology that you know I love in my iron. For sure. So it's gonna be a great test. Um, looking at the size of everything, they're pretty similar when we lay them down on the table, <laughs> shape-wise, but with the new Rogue product, it's a matte black finish. Yeah. I think that's a hot trend that we're going to see all yeah. year long. You know, Peng did that really well with the matte black. I think this is, you know, really mm -hmm. tour inspired to get rid of the gloss effect that hybrids generally yeah. have. So I think these hybrids are going to be great. There's different lofts with them as well, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Um, we see a lot of bonded equipment as well. Mm -hmm. Bonded meaning, you know, there's no adjustability in the housel settings. Yeah. You know, the reason for that, they save weight by um, getting rid of that adjustability. Right. And all that weight goes into the back or in different heel and toe placements for more stability for players. So that's one thing with the Rogue product, it's gonna be bonded again. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the Super Hybrid, we gain adjustability. Yep. Okay. And then same thing with uh, the Apex, the standard Apex uh, from Callaway as well, we have adjustability. Yeah. So you know, for players that need that adjustability, it really limits the market on which ones to right. try players that are consistent ball strikers that don't need that adjustability, I think the Rogue product is gonna fit in great. Yeah, I know, that's one of the things that it seems like manufacturers are always kind of debating with, you know, Harry Woods and hybrids especially is, you know, the bonded hosel allows you to, you know, allocate weight elsewhere in the club head, but also it kind of takes away that that adjustability that you have, so. Right. But to your point about the, the black uh, matte finish. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the matte black. Yes. Uh, and that's kind of been, for me, I've stayed away from Callaway metals in the past because of that glossy black. You see other manufacturers going to the matte. So I'm sure. um, very excited about that with the ro new Rogue ST line. But yeah. all right, we've got, so we got five clubs. We've got a couple of 18 degree options, a couple of 21 degree options, and we'll outline all that uh, mm -hmm. when Danny hits the shots here, but are you ready to do this? Absolutely. I've been looking for a new hybrid. You know, okay. I've got that steel shafted uh, title that needs to come out of the bag. <laughs> so I, I want to see, I want to get into this and see if one of these will go into the bag for me in 2022. Nice. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Danny, Apex Pro in your hand now, the 23 degree four hybrid we'll start with. So I imagine that's going to be the smallest club head of the five we're testing today. Yeah, it, it definitely is looking at it. Um, I love the profile of it. This really seems to fit a good player's eye. Mm -hmm. I think the smaller shape would help getting out of the rough a little bit too. Okay. And I love the higher loft at 23. Yeah. I struggle on getting the ball up in the air, so I need all the loft I can get. You'll see some low spin with all of these as well, because yeah. that's just my game. But I think this is going to serve me really well. I'm really happy about the um, MMT shot yeah. from uh, Mitsubishi in here as well. I played in my iron, so I'm excited to give this a right, yeah. We have a, you know, it sounds like you're really, you know, it might be the leader before the clubhouse, before the round, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll see here because that there is something too, you know, that it's a 23 degree four hybrid. Correct. Which it seems like you look around the industry, four hybrids seem to be a little bit lower loft than that usually. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm interested to see where the weight is, how stable it mm -hmm. is and how the ball flight is. So let's get to work. Nice. Well, that's a good start. I love that. How about that smash factor? One, five, one, huh? <laughs> Come on, that's all you got? Like that. Ooh, a fancy club for all that one, too. I like that. So, 
for right now, what what the hybrid in your bag, you know, mm -hmm. give me kind of the specs on that. I know you alluded <laughs> to it in the beginning of the video, but the specs on it, but also like what kind of distance you're trying to kind of fill in the bag with Sure, club. sure. I mean, going after the specs of my hybrid, it doesn't deserve a spot in the bag. <laughs> but for some reason, I love it off the tee. It's a low spin bomb. It's actually a Titleist with a Project X 6.5 rifle steel shaft. Okay. So my driver's 55 grams in X, and then the hybrid's at 125. My irons are, are at 105. Okay. So from a fitting perspective, what are we doing well, it, in the bag? Well, it accomplishes something in your bag. It's still it, in there. It does. So it, still, it, it does do something for you at right. least. So you're trying right. to at least you're trying to get that, you know, maintain that shot in your bag, but also maybe get a little bit more out of this new hybrid. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, I'm chasing kind of that 220 carry, uh, 240 kind okay. of rollout. So I, I like the numbers so far that okay. this is delivering, and I like the little bit higher loft. It helps me a ton sure. to get the ball up. So What's I'm, the loft of your current one? Uh, loft of the current one is at 18. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that certainly would be a big difference in loft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See another one that launched a little bit low, but spun enough that mm -hmm. it just kind of stays up there. So is that the flight? Because it is launching low, mm -hmm. and that is that the spin that you're hoping to get, or is that maybe even higher than that? No, this is you know very very surprising. I love the higher spin because this is going to be useful to hit into a green, make yeah. it stop. Yeah. My hybrid, I have no chance. Okay. You know, I'm rolling it up or yeah. sending it to the right, chipping in, whatever. Okay. But this gives me the ability to go after those greens to actually make it stop. Yeah. So I'm thrilled with this so far. All right. So Danny, I've got the map on the left, numbers on the right. Got your four best shots. Yep. Uh, again, you're not missing one way a ton. You know, oh. you're kind of right around the center. Mm -hmm. And numbers wise, I know you're kind of trying to get towards. You know, you got. 210 carry, 227 total. Right. Uh, I know that's a lot higher spin than, than you have now with your hybrid. Yeah. So, um, and again, this is a 23 degree Apex Pro 21. Mm -hmm. So kind of, you know, maybe if, you know, you're, if you're gonna have these other hybrids in contention, including the Rogue ST models, which we'll test later, mm -hmm. what are you looking for to improve on off of this? Or, or is there anything? Uh, I mean, this is gonna be hard to beat. Yeah. You know, from a spin perspective for my game, I need all the spin I can get. The, the thing I'm going to be looking for is the launch conditions, mm -hmm. right? Loft is going to go down. There's different weighting yeah. where it is in every club head. The size is different. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested to see not only the forgiveness, but also the numbers that TrackMan's going to deliver sure. as well. All right. Well, let's go Apex 21 now, not the Pro version. Okay. Just the Apex here. Okay. So you got both Apex models. What do you see now? I, I, from here, I can see a pretty clear difference in the size. It, it's incredible, the shape. I mean, I, I feel like <laughs> you could almost double the Apex Pro to make it into the standard Apex yeah. head. Yeah. I mean, there's, from a look perspective, I like the Apex Pro a little bit more, smaller profile. Yeah. But I think this, this Apex has the adjustability factor to it too. So if I'm chasing a little bit more distance, I've got the ability to tune this thing down mm -hmm. and chase that. Yeah. Or the Apex Pro, I've got nothing. Interesting, that's a good right? point. I know so, something as a fitter, that's always coming right to your mind. So. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's get to work, see how the Apex delivers. Mm -hmm. it sits a little bit upright at a dress too, which is different. Seems like the Apex Pro is a little bit flatter. Okay. Just when I set up to it. So I got a feeling this might go a little bit more, more left. left. Wow, laser. That's more so what I'm used to. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that's a, it's a low laser. There's that kind of 220 number of for carry that you're, th yeah, you're talking I mean, about. But then looking at that numbers, spin is low too. Yeah, this is driver all yeah. day long. You know, launch at 15 or launch at 12, spin at 25, yeah. smash at 150. This is a mini driver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seriously yeah. is. So that's, that's a great start. I mean, the only thing I'm losing now I'm dropping loft from 23 to 21. Right. But notice the height now. I'm at 68 feet. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. You're trying I to have, maintain that. I have height. no chance of holding the green mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. None. Because I think, yeah, I mean, you got 28 yard difference between your carry number and your total number. There. Right. Right. But hey, maybe we get a couple more shots and you get some more spin and some more height here. Uh, I don't think we will. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was hammered. There's some ball speed on that one. But again, driver numbers. Yeah. Launch it a little bit. <laughs> I mean. 151 though. I don't know. Maybe not a driver. <laughs> you'd uh, you'd get, you know, the you'd get banned. Yeah. I mean, the, that the, the biggest reason why I can't spin anything in the game, 
If we look at kind of that dynamic loft number, that's how much loft I show at impact. So mm. if my hands are ahead, I'm de-lofting yeah. it, and de-lofting it creates more ball speed, but it lowers the spin. Sure. That's my struggle in the game mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. You just keep increasing that ball speed. See, interesting on that one, you got a little more spin. I did, I did. Stayed up in the air a little bit. Just like I thought, this is gonna have a tendency mm -hmm. to work there a little is, bit yeah. more left, just with the upright kind of lie angle. That should spin a little bit. Yeah, didn't quite turn over, but a little bit higher. So the interesting thing here is that we're testing different club heads and different lofts. Yeah. So, you know, we're gonna see some pre pretty big differences. And right there, I mean, I think the spin is a pretty big <laughs> difference right there. And even those, I mean, you had this last one that went to 3,200, I think, which was mm -hmm. the highest spinning one. But, you know, relatively, you know, the, the, the club speed's pretty close. You see that ball speed jump up, probably due to a lot more than anything. Yep. Uh, and then you see that spin, which also creates a pretty big difference in distance, both total and carry there. Right. So. Right. Um, I know this distance window is a little bit m maybe closer to what you're looking for, but then you lose some of that spin and the result is, you know, on some of these shots, especially that first one, you would be able to hold the green. Right. I, I need something right in between. You know, what this is delivering in the apex, mm -hmm. something in between to get more spin and make it stop at 220. I mean, I, I love the forgiveness with this. Mm -hmm. You can definitely tell that. I mean, I feel like I missed a couple and smash factor was still great. Yeah, so it the was. efficiency across awesome. the face was incredible. Mm -hmm. So well done Callaway on the Apex. Well, maybe, maybe the Epic Super Hybrid is that club that's in between for you. So we'll see. Ooh. This one definitely intrigues me. I mean, shaft wise, I love the steel fiber. Mm -hmm. It was number two to go into my irons. We know that, you know, with 59 miles, remember that? Yep, that yeah, miles of fiber in here, that's <laughs> insane. So I love the stability. I like the lightweight, but the firmer tip section with steel fiber. I love the adjustability with this too. Yeah. So it'd be interesting. I think this super hybrid might give us a little bit higher launch. Yeah. Just due to the head bigger, size being a little bit yeah, bigger. A little bit bigger yeah. club head. Could maybe have that center of gravity a little bit lower and kind mm -hmm. of juice that thing in the air. Absolutely. And we've got the adjustability if we need it. Mm -hmm. So let's send it, see yeah. what happens. Looking down at it, it looks very similar to the Apex, a little more rounded on the, the back okay. end of the sole there. Um, it actually looks like it has more loft on it. it does. Really? It does. Yeah, it looks see, like it has more. Interesting. You see more loft. You see more I do the think face. there is something to manufacturers doing that where, you know, because I think they do that with some of the coloring that they've done before or mm -hmm. I mean, the offset where they add some color or add some offset or add a different face texture, whatever it might be to make right. it look more or less loft. Because yeah. that player's perception thing is, is a huge component of, uh, you know, someone's confidence in the club. Absolutely. I mean, this one out of the three we've hit so far, this one gives me the most confidence looking back. Okay. I loved the Apex Pro shape, but this I feel like is a king in terms of forgiveness. Okay. That's a good ball. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty familiar shot shape from the apex there. That is, but I like the height being up a little bit more yeah. at 75. The, the spin is gaining a little mm -hmm. bit. I like the carry. This is fitting the numbers that I want. Okay. Okay. But I, w I just want more height. A little bit more. I was oh, yeah. hammered. Oh yeah. Wow. It's pretty similar to our last one too. Talk about consistency. Yeah, that's two very, very, actually, I just, just for the sake of, mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> yeah. That'll work, that'll yeah. do. There, there's a reason why this shaft was number two to go into yeah. my bag. I love the feel of this. I mean, this is making my eyebrows go up. Yeah. You know, I'm really digging this. I'll have to get over the, the shape yeah, a, a little, little bit. bit, but I think this could be very, very good outside. I'm thrilled about it so far. Oh my God, does that feel good? Interesting. Wow, so that carry number didn't move basically. No. But the spin went up a little bit. Yeah, face was open a little bit more, but I love the height at 92. I mean, the consistency on carry is phenomenal. Yeah. And the smash again, 152, I'm getting greedy now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's but. see 153. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I'm digging this a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. I'm very surprised with this. Okay, I missed that a little bit. 
So there's that kind of knuckleball effect there. So we had three really consistent carry numbers there, mm -hmm. and then we had kind of that last little uh, miss hit of the knuckleball. Just for the fun, I'm going to do this quick and just see what that looks like. <laughs> so, you know, th that's your, your three best shots look really awesome up there mm -hmm. with the super hybrid. Um, it seems like your numbers just keep getting better and better. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about getting something in between the Apex and the mm -hmm. Apex Pro. And I think this is delivering. I mean, look at the launch. I'm getting that from the Apex Pro. The spin is up a little bit from the Apex 21. Right in the middle. You know, and the carry is so consistent. Look at that, 223 with 0.4 yards difference in carry. I'm digging this. Yeah. Really digging that's, this. That's fun to see. I mean, because mm -hmm. look at it. You can see the carry chart over here, and they're all right there. So, Absolutely. Um, so we've got, now we get into the new stuff, mm -hmm. the 2022 stuff. The Rogue ST, we got the Max and the Max OS. Um, this will be fun because we have a, so the Max OS is 21 degrees. 21. And mm -hmm. I, when I got a look at it, I noticed some offset, uh, quite a bit of offset there. So, and we also got a different shaft we should note too. So I'm curious to see, maybe this could be, one of these could be the performer that you're looking for. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I like the visual effect, the 10 side blue. It looks like they kind of extended the label a little yeah. bit. So it's really flashy and nice. The Max OS, for, for me, when I put that down, it just looks like it's hanging left. Yeah. You know, so for a player that struggles with the rights a little bit, this is a great option mm -hmm. for them. I love the matte black finish. Love that. You yeah. know, from the, the previous models we tested going to this, this has the most appeal yeah. to it visually, but that super hybrid is going to be hard to beat. Right? Yeah. I mean, numbers wise, the super hybrid is exactly what looking for. So we'll see. Yeah. Rogue ST Max OS here, 21 degrees, matte black finish, which is new. Mm hmm. Yeah, we still have the flash face, all the tendencies oh, yeah. of the other stuff as well. So let's give it a ride. Oh. Ooh. I, now you got to club twirl it now after seeing that. <laughs> there you go. I, I felt like I really snapped that thing left. Yeah. You know, and I think the forgiveness level is huge with this. I'm interested to see once I really connect if that launch goes up. Yeah. So that is, now did it feel like it was low in the face or did you just feel like you kind of came over the top and, and I feel like I just kind of smothered it. I mean, yeah. my dynamic loft dropped to 14, so I really mm -hmm. feel like I got a head okay. on that, you know. But again, those are driver numbers. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 22 spin or 23 spin, 148 smash. Yeah. So, I mean, for players that struggle with spin or spinning it too much, <laughs> all these options have been great yeah. so far. Mm -hmm. We're keeping the spin off of yep. it. So... Probably the best swing of the I day. I think that's right the there. best ball speed of that club, at least. Oh, okay. And some spin went up a little bit there, too. 86 feet? That's a pretty good one. Hmm. I, for me, I just can't get over the look. Yeah, the There's looks no is that different. no way this could go in the bag for me. Yeah. <laughs> but overall... So it's not, and the look is based on the shape rather than, you know, because we had talked about matte black and all that, mm -hmm. but it's the shape, and you kind of feel like that toe is off the ground a little bit. I, I do, you know, I, I think there's a lot of weight down here in the heel as well. Like, like I said, I can literally feel that when yeah. I grab the club itself. So for players that, again, struggle with the right, this OS head will help encourage that mm -hmm. face to close a little bit more, mm -hmm. give players more confidence. Yeah. But I mean, this, this is delivering pretty well again. Mm -hmm. So. Interesting now, that's the Rogue ST Max OS. You had these two that were right next to each other. Yeah. You're know, looking like the same shot, basically. That face is just a little bit open on this one. We got 6-1 on that, but then um, you got one over here on the left, too. So right. um, I wanted to see how the spin shakes out because so it's still a little bit lower than that super hybrid, yeah. um, which could be, you know, rel not necessarily because that, Super hybrid went pretty straight for you. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. I mean, maybe a little bit lower launching head than I, I anticipated, I guess, or lower spinning, I guess, than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of weight kind of towards the face to minimize the spin. I mean, you saw the off center hits that I hit, the spin dropped out. Yeah. Which is great for players on that miss. If I don't hit it properly, at least I know the spin's going to drop and I'm going to get more, more distance out mm -hmm. of it. So, it, it's a great head for a lot, a lot of players. I dig it. Mm hmm. 
All right, last one here. This is going to be interesting because it's a 18 degree Rogue ST Max now. So this should be this should be the, well, it will be the lowest loft here. We're just going to see, you know, I, I mean, numbers wise, it's probably going to be the lowest launching and lowest spinning. So it might not be the ideal fit for your bag and what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but do want to see how that compares at least here yeah. because we got. Um, I mean, this is an important one to look at, I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, I, I can definitely see there's less loft on the club head. I love the matte black. Um, there's a little icon on there from Callaway as well to help with alignment. So mm -hmm. that's nice on the good visual there. Uh, profile, it's a little bit, it's very similar, actually. Um, be interested to see. Is it, mean, do you feel that the weight in, is as much as that OS with the, the heel there or no? I, I don't. Okay. You know, when I kind of balance it, I feel all the, the weight in the heel with the OS. With this, it feels more... More balanced? More balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Oh, whoa. There's some ball speed. Stinger. 152 smash. Launch angle of 8.1. Dynamic loft 10.2. <laughs> that, that's uh, that is that's the shot you're hitting now in your bag, right? Correct. That I want to get rid of. I mean, yeah. if I have a T, I love it because yeah. I just send it up in there and know it's going to knuckle and go forever. Yep. But this, I have no chance. The loft, the whole I mean, green. height at 55 feet. You're not holding the green. No, no way. I think this is going to be the hardest one to get up in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a good ball. Yes, okay, sir. there's some spin. Had some spin, had some height. I feel like I really missed that. Okay. So now, how do you feel like it performed despite maybe missing it a little bit? I, I feel like numbers were fantastic. I know it was a little bit healy on okay. the strike. So that's why the launch came up and the spin came up mm -hmm. as well. But I love that forgiveness knowing that that's in there, yeah. that I can miss across the face with the flash face and the jailbreak technology in here. I've got a lot of forgiveness. I yeah, love that. because you, you know, you you said your target's kind of that 220 carry range. You mm -hmm. lost five yards or six yards right. off of a heel strike, and you're still right there. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Interesting. See, that's what that was a toe strike. Okay, so we got a heel and a toe. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see the difference in spin. Yeah. Heel's got to promote more spin. Toe, I've got the knuckleball. Yeah. You know, if we were overseas, so, it'd be a great ball. Yeah, yeah. If you got, you know, that windy, maybe Texas, you're in the wind and it's dry <laughs> right. fairways, that's perfect. So, mm -hmm. but the, but the, uh, of course, the issue here is if you're trying to attack a par five and two, for instance, and there's a bunker you got to carry. I've got nothing. Not going to, not going to do it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, kind of the, the downfall here. But in terms of total distance, this thing is keeping up and doing really well. <laughs> Wherever you hit it on the face, it's doing really well. Right, it's fantastic. I mean, I, I like it. I think Callaway's done great with this. Let's hit one more. There's another toe strike. That, that shows the forgiveness of that. I feel like I really, really missed it. Mm -hmm. and I went straight, the knuckle effect <laughs> came yeah. back. So I still got, you know, kind of my target distance at 230 there. Mm -hmm. And it's relatively close to the center. Yeah. I mean, again, forgiveness is loaded way more in this Rogue ST Max mm -hmm. than kind of the Apex Pro. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. More forgiveness, mm -hmm. profile similar to the Apex Pro, but the weighting and center of gravity is much different than this. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a huge hit in 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I did want to just bring up these numbers. We'll talk about these here. Um, We've got, you know, I think, you know, I had a couple of those toe strikes bringing that spin down on the mm -hmm. ST Max here, but um, I'm going to organize this by most spin. Okay. And you can see Apex Pro being the highest lofted, not a huge surprise. Right. Um, but then I'm, I mean, we kind of see really these these 21 degree kind of clubs here are producing the numbers that you were kind of looking for here because you said you were trying to increase that spin and get a, a shot that you can or a club that you can hit that maybe low penetrating flight off the tee, but then also hit the shot to hold the green approaching and yeah. you're getting more spin here. Tell me, kind of break me, break down these three clubs here. The, the, the Max OS Apex 21 is super hybrid. I know you didn't love the look of the shape of this one, yeah. but it seems like the numbers did okay for you. Yeah, I mean, visually, I would say the, the super hybrid was my favorite to look at. Okay. It pr promoted a lot of confidence. The numbers stood by exactly where I want to be as well. Uh, looking at the Apex 21, 
Very similar profile to the super hybrid, very similar. We still have the adjustability in mm -hmm. both of those, uh, but just didn't feel like the forgiveness level was there as much in the with apex. the apex. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense with the super hybrid, the weighting, the center sure. of gravity a little bit different. Yeah. But overall, uh, that super hybrid stands out for me. Um, I was not a fan of the Max OS head shape yeah. for me personally, but I think you know a lot of players come in and struggle with the rights, struggle yeah. with closing the face. I think you know that Rogue Max OS is really going to deliver. Mm -hmm. the, it visually sits a little bit upright. Right. You can feel all the weight in the heel, and that toe is mm -hmm. nice and light to close that face angle. I, I mm -hmm. think that's going to be a huge win. But yeah. it, it's not going to. I mean, I got it here, and you can kind of see how it, you can, you know, that, that toe almost comes up, and you can feel mm -hmm. it now. I'm kind of. There's a, it just feels like it's coming up off the ground a little bit or wants to because there's a bunch of weight here. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's so, crazy how you can just feel that yeah. picking it up. Right. right here even. I'm trying to like wiggle it and you can just, it's so easy to just do this because all the weight's right here. Right. So, yeah, but I mean, to your point though, there's so many players, I mean, that struggle with a, that block or a slice mm -hmm. or a fade that yeah. they can't control. Right. And that's, it seems like that's what Cal was going for with, with that club there, just yeah. based on that weighting feel. And then you also felt it hitting, it was just the, that tendency to want to turn it over. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm very, very happy with seeing the spin consistency with this. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know the Rogue Max at 18 degrees is going to spin a little bit less than everything else. Yeah. Right? We know that. But then looking up at the spin numbers, they're very consistent. So again, for players that struggle with hitting the ball high, spinning it too much, and kind of ballooning their hybrids, these are going to all deliver lower spin. Yeah. It's just what loft do we need to get that target distance for mm -hmm. that player. Yeah, right? it looks like you got a couple options here. I do, but I, I know my favorite, that super hybrid with the steel fiber. But yeah. it's probably going in the bag. This all was right. incredible. Well, good. Well, Danny, thanks for joining today and yeah. hitting all the shots. This was some really good testing here. Uh, the new Rogue ST Max and Max OS are certainly going to be huge winners. We talked about all the added benefits this year, but also 2021 from Callaway brought a bunch of great options as well. It looks like yeah. Danny might have one in the bag this year. So, mm -hmm. uh, Danny, thanks for hitting all the shots, providing your feedback today. Uh, again, all these options are going to be really good moving forward here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Drew.